Hello and welcome to Storytime with Kate. Today's story is about the best books for emotional development that every classroom should have. They are good for home too, so I'm going to introduce three different types of books and I hope you will enjoy it. So the first series is When I'm Feeling, and that's uh, quite a lot of books you can buy, When I'm Feeling Jealous, When I'm Feeling Angry, When I'm Feeling Scared, and now they have more than these basic emotions they also have the things i love about so you can see that there is the same character in all the books let's look at this one when i'm feeling angry so this um one is exploring angry anger is one of the basic emotions and children definitely do experience these feelings this book uh, through the beautiful pictures and character and words explains how anger feels in your body so for example when you feel angry you want to kick and scream and stomp and stomp and stomp so a really great a way to explain children how it feels when you are angry i want to run and run and run and never stop everyone gets angry sometimes and then they talk about some coaching or some ideas of what you can do some strategies um, uh, to deal with anger, for example, breathing or going to a favorite quiet place, uh, talking about why I'm feeling angry with loved ones. So very, very good uh, book and all of them explore different emotions. So some of them explore emotions such as when I feel kind, which is also wonderful pro social skills. Some of these books explore um, when I feel happy. Yeah, that's also important for self-esteem. And some of these books explore um, when I feel lonely. A lot of children, when they start going to kindergarten, they might feel lonely or scared. So going through these books throughout the year, exploring emotions, adding them to the uh, play spaces and reading them during preschool circle time, story times is very, very good idea. So it's great for every kindergarten or preschool library or family daycare library. Second book is very simple book so for younger children and older children the age is i would say from zero to six uh, it's called funny face this book explores emotions through your expression so for example um everyone can make a face yeah so sam makes a happy face uh, lisa makes surprise pay face and angry face so very simple way to describe emotions uh, very simple book but shows how emotions are demonstrated through facial expressions so definitely worth to add to the library next one is uh, for uh, emotions as well so all of them are about emotions and emotional development so this one is angry is so how does it feel to be angry it's very similar to the ones that we looked at first but this one is for all the children and it's got real children pictures. So I think it's slightly different from the rabbit because you can see real pictures. Children can recognize the situations in this book. For example, this one talks about clean your room. Parents say this mess has to go. You like your room the way it is, your anger starts to grow. Yeah? Mistakes are sure to happen and sometimes life seems bad. Your dog might eat your ice cream cone and boy, that makes you mad. So this gives you language uh, to talk about emotions with children. It also um, shows children who are uh, put in different situations that are easily recognizable. For example, this girl doesn't want to eat broccoli, steamed broccoli, but mom says clean your plate. This one um, about swearing, yes, yeah, so no, no word, didn't mean to say, uh, sh uh, make face, teasing. So yeah, that, that's a very interesting book because it's not just about, uh, about anger or how it feels, but it's also about situations that might cause you to be angry. I really like uh, the um, additional information here in this book. So this one is talking about what pout means. So it's an expansion of vocabulary, what um, grounding is or other things like that. So that's just uh, very good books. I really like they have angry ease. They have 
sad is they have happy is and they have scared is so always basic emotions yeah so and next one is go away mr worry worry thoughts yeah so that's about anxiety and fears so it's about a boy named Baden and he sometimes is overwhelmed with worry thoughts. A lot of children nowadays are diagnosed or not diagnosed with anxiety. So these books are really important for, um, to, for children and for families and early childhood centers, family day care, because they do introduce these um, emotions, uh, these sometimes additional needs uh, or um, diagnosis as well. So how children feel. And they normalize these um, mental health issues as well. So they also give some understanding of what the person might feel when they feel anxious and worry, worry, worry too much. So this is another book that I think you should add to your library in kindergarten or preschool. Really great book. What are your favorite books?